Alright, hey everybody, um, I'm back. Today I am actually mixing up um, some of my breads and biscuits that I'm going to store in my, uh, my long-term buckets. Um, my brother uh, likes to stockpile uh, self-rising flour. I don't. I, I tend to use um, you know, all-purpose flour. Um, there's other ingredients that are needed. He he doesn't, you know, he has his milks and he has all of his stuff that he's going to save. Um, I don't, and eggs. Um, but what I found is I found a few um, biscuit recipes that don't really require a lot of stuff. Um, you know, just some flour, baking powder, salt, um, and then you can put the oil and the water in later. And that's what I'm putting in my buckets. I'm putting in my packages that I've already pre-made of my loaves of bread of different sizes. That one will make two loaves. My biscuits. Um, there's a few things. The the recipe calls for baking powder. Have you ever wondered why uh, baking powder comes in a metal can? I have no clue, but it can't be good. So what they suggest is instead of using baking powder, to use equal parts of baking soda. And this is cream of tartare. Um, I use it in desserts when I make um, snickerdoodles and things like that. But um, but yeah, the, the two of them together is going to work better. And you can, I just put it in the in the bag and I vacuum seal it, and then I put it in my my foil metallic foil bag and then seal it in the bucket. So we've got loads of protection. But um, this recipe is pretty simple, pretty easy to use. This one I have actually used for these biscuits, uh, self rising flour, because these are even though these are good biscuits, they're they're kind of like hockey pucks. Um, they're good for soups. You know, most of your food in a shit hits the fan scenario is going to be broth and meat and beans, and uh, you know, biscuits are going to help fill your stomach. But um, these are these are good because uh, you can add gravy to them. You can do a number of things with this. I've already added the powdered milk to these bags, um, and then all you have to add after that is just the shortening, a little water. Um, I don't even put water in. I just use the powdered milk. Um, in a package of powdered milk, there is one cup of ingredient that's going to make uh, one quart of milk. If you divide that out, one quart is 32 ounces. You can make four packs. So the, the, basically, the formula calls for the, um, you know, just a, a cup of milk, and that's what we're going to use. So if, if you don't know your measurements, uh, get a measuring cup one to four cups that already has the ounces on it. Um, ask anybody who smokes pot or something. They um, they know their measurements. They know weights and grams and all that. That's what I used to do with my brothers. Um, I've just never been good with measurements. Um, I have two different kinds of breads. This is a, a bake in a pot bread. Um, you just bake it in a cast iron pot. I took the, uh, the recipe off of YouTube. But it's real simple, just with this flour that's in here, it's all-purpose flour. Um, you add the yeast. I've already put the packages of yeast in the containers. You can see each one of these already has um, you know, the yeast in it. And uh, you'll just have to reactivate the yeast. You soak it in water first for a little while, and then I just write my directions on the, uh, right on the bag, you know, 425 for 30 minutes. But this is simple because it, it's, uh, it's covered. You, Foolproof, you know, you cannot mess it up. These other ones, um, you know, they're like real loaves of bread. Bake on 350 for 30 minutes. You got to let it rise twice, and you need it a little bit, and they work. And and if and if there's a big serious problem, you're gonna want something that's gonna bring you back to reality. A nice loaf of bread, a cup of milk, any number of things is gonna help. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store them, store them in my buckets, and I have my vegetable oil that I use and I'm going to just put a bottle of uh, the vegetable oil and, and shortening in the container along with some extra packages of milk in case I decide to do other things later. I have other buckets filled with beans and uh, stuff like that but the one thing you can say is you're not going to go out in your backyard and grow wheat and harvest it and thatch the wheat and make your own flour so uh, I find that the best way is to pre-mix this. If something seriously does go wrong Let's pray and hope it doesn't, but if uh, economic collapse or some people say volcanoes, things like that, if anything bad happens, the last thing you need to be worrying about in your food storage is how am I going to make the bread? I don't have a recipe. I don't know what I'm doing. So 
just takes the steps out of it and uh, makes it easier for everybody to deal with. It's all in one container. You can get this. You can go if you need to go. Um, just take some other things besides your bread because that would not be good just to have your bread with you. But um, but that, that's about it. I just vacuum store and I put everything together. I'm going to seal it all up with the uh, flat iron and uh, put my um, my hand warmers in there because I don't really like using the uh, oxygen absorbers. I buy them 10 to a pack. These I can buy 4 to a pack at uh, Walmart. It's $1.20 for 4 of them. I'll just throw all of them in there. It's real simple and it's not real expensive to take care of. So uh, I'll keep you posted and let you know what else we do. Thanks.